Well, hello there, stranger. Hi. Ooh. What happened to your ear? Bright and shiny one, aren't you? <laughs> I ask you for your name, but sadly you got no mouth to speak with or hands to shake with. What am I? To look down with. Am I just like a ball? What is happening? We're gonna have to find another way. See, what you'll find is, even though you're no longer in your body, your body's still inside of you. If that makes any sense. It does not make any so sense. But go you on. you understand what I'm saying, um, blink over my hand here. Blink. Ooh, well look at that. You're a blinking genius. Now you see that tower out there? Big, yes, I scary do. One. It's not That's scary. It looks so cool. You to see the gatekeeper, to be judged. I'm gonna present your case. Tell her the whole story of your entire life, from prow to stern. Now, if she's impressed, I get paid the big coin, and you get yourself a spot in her magnificent city. If she ain't. I eat seagull for dinner again, and uh, you. These poor seagulls. Your life. You're gonna show it to me. I want to see exactly what made you so absolutely great. amazing. Thank you. So I know. Just think back to the very beginning. Uh huh. The first thing that you can remember. I'm gonna send you there, but understand. No matter how much you like it, you're not going to be able to stay, all right? Every time you blink, you're going to jump forward in time. Could be a second, mm -hmm. could be five years. That's just how this thing works. All righty then. I hope he's ready for this. Now, the next time that you blink, I'm going to send you back. Now, don't be afraid. And don't try to fight it. Uh -huh. The thing to remember about blinking is, well, it's only a matter of time. Uh huh. You gonna say anything else? I'm touched. You enjoy my company. I really am. But I'll have to ask you to have some respect for the process here. Okay. Okay. And just try to enjoy it this time. Look at that sun. Wow. Pretty. Shiny. A long, beautiful day ahead of us. Why are you smiling like that? You must really like it out here, huh? Well, I get that. I like it too. Oh, it's so pretty here. Away, didn't it? Oh well, days have a tendency to do that, I guess. Am I like a five year old? Like, how old am I right now? Where's the first page of my piece? I can't find it anywhere. Did I put it in here? No. Oh no, the seagull. No. Rip. Kid. <laughs> Look at that! There's your little hand. We have to make him do this every birthday. <laughs> That's a great idea. Yeah, we will really be something to see how he grows. Don't you? Play, 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 play. I'm sure you'll be better than me soon enough. Play. I want to play it. Oh. Go, go, go. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Sounds good, honey. Oh my god, you're naked. Hi. Life. 
the meaning of existence. Probably solving the problems of the universe. So, do you think he's going to be smart? Yes. I don't see why not. I mean. Oh wait, I no, went to the next driven. part without. At least I <sighs> think it was. Do you think you could tell the other members of the selection committee what I just told you? Right. About. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I guess I just put a lot of expectation on this call. That is not about. Okay. I had... Well. Oh. See? That used to be my piano. Wow. My dad gave it to me. Beethoven. He loved music. Ba -da -ba -ba -da. Let us help just to have a chance to pursue ba -da -ba -da -ba. it. Ba -da -ba -da. Ba -da -ba -da. Ba -da -ba -da. Ba -da God. He made me practice so much. I hated it at first. You seem like you're enjoying it here. He hoped to make it further than conducting the high school choir. Never said anything, though. He was what you might call the strong, silent type. Uh-huh. Next one, please. Can you believe I grew up in the snow? And I came all the way out here to the beach. I don't even know how I got here. My, My eyes. Dad got his job, and I just came with him. Next page. Like Next page. Instance. Okay, Benny. Cup. Are you ready to see something really special? Oh. I just don't want him to get a Is it a pet? Richard. What? That's the cutest thing I've ever seen. Yeah, what's wrong with that? We can't keep him. Can we? Oh, Frank, I blinked. <laughs> now play the C major chord I taught you. Remember? I will, I will. There you go. Doesn't that make you feel happy? Like you yeah. still jump up and down? I guess. Now what about C minor? On a blink. You remember how to play Oh wait, that? no, there's no metronome. Okay. Very good. Just one note different. That one sounds sad, doesn't it? Amazing what a difference one little change can make on how a person feels. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, she's allergic. <gasps> Like me and your little friend on your piano there. I'm blinking. She was in grad school studying composition. I never met anyone like her. I just pray to cute. God I can somehow keep up. What a key message. I think she liked that I was a professor. Gave me a certain gravitas in her oh. own. Hmm, what's the age gap between you two? God, she dragged me to so many places. It was wonderful. Egypt, wow. Oh, I should have guessed with the pyramid. Hmm. Where would you want to go if you could only go to one? Uh, Greece. Greece well, is cool. Well, just remember to put on sunscreen. <laughs> Man, I gave you some unfortunate genes, didn't I? Luckily, Mom gave you some good ones. So, yeah, let's hope they balance each other out. I hope that too. Oh. What is this music piece? The pull-up day? Wait, is that... that's my piece. How did you figure out how to play that? Yes, I am very good at playing. Are you hearing this? I can do it. What? He's playing my piece. I'm the best. He must have figured it out by ear. I mean, I was a gifted kid, but he's brilliant. We need to get him into serious piano. I forgot to blink before this metronome appeared. 
Uh, okay. Well. Oh god, I have my interview in five minutes and I completely forgot to feed him. Go, go. Wait, who'd you forget to feed? I hope it's not the cat. I don't care if it's me, I I can survive being like eating air, honestly. And what am I doing? Am I just waiting? Hello? I lost where okay, here we go. Go cat. Oh. Go. Oh, it's ugly. For a moment, I forgot what a great father you are. <laughs> Excuse me, of course, sir. It's all organized into folders, sitting ready on my kitchen. Go, go. They will literally be on your desk when you get in. What it's better now. Happen to the files between now and tomorrow morning? We are fine. When's he coming? No. I'm flying him out in February, remember? Kitty, kitty, you kitty. Know, I think he was pretty surprised that I could actually afford to do that. Hey, why not? I think You're the other one was better, out. honestly. I guess this one looks more cartoonish, you know? Don't let it go to your head, but yeah. Food. Please let the cat know. It's time to use the litter box, though. Baby. Is the cat gonna go away? I hope not. This is called a metronome. We use it to measure time so we don't tick, get lost talk, in the music. Tick, I talk, want you to start using tick, it before Grandpa talk, comes to visit. Tick, talk. You know, my Th father once told me, when I was about your age, the only way to fight against time is to create a work of genius, which might That's live pretty on cool. after you're gone. It's like the whole... So I asked him, what about your children? Thinking... I might be a work of genius, just as I was. And he said, Yes, I suppose. If <laughs> you made a work of genius, I could live on through that as well. <laughs> no such luck for me. This grandpa seems kind of self-possessed. Not, not very good. Yes. Oh no. I want to listen. My eyes are open wide. Oh my god, I'm going so slowly towards it. Hello? Stop ringing and go to voicemail. Prick. You really need to stay in time with the metronome, okay? Go. Subdivide the time. One e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three e and a four e. You're off. You're off, Ben. You can't hear that. What? I want to play. No. There you go, buddy. Hey, Get kitty. A firm grip on it, just like that. Oh my. Well, I don't think you like that, pal. Sorry, buddy. Ernie. Buddy. Ernie. Ernie. Is that my name? Ernie, we need you. God, hell! What if you got eaten by a coyote? My sinuses would be eternally indebted. What did you just say? No, I, I said I'm really worried. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. We all hear what you said, lady. I'm worried too. I know, sweetie. Ernie! If my cat dies, I yeah. swear to God. You too will not be peacefully. So you're saying it's a coincidence that it disappears for weeks and then comes back with a huge belly? But Ernie's a boy. And you're sure about that? Hmm. Uh, I'm still not understanding how you let this happen. I don't know. <sighs> Think about it. It just, it just happened. You just happened to find a stray cat in the alley. 
No. <laughs> I know. It seems impossible that you could ever play something so complex. I didn't mean it. But just take it one day at a time. You're really getting there, honey. Next time you start working on your other hand. Listen, ba -ba 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 -ba. I'm so good. The quiz said find the zero, and he just drew an arrow pointing to it. <laughs> well, what's wrong with that? I mean, everything is wrong with that. What do you mean? That's amazing. I would give this person an A. I'm just saying. My house. It's oh. Not my house. Fall back, you fool. Well, so she's a single child. Uh huh. You know, if you really want to take a photo of something cool, you should take a photo of this. Chloe. Chloe. Oh shoot. Quiet, everyone. Betty's about to play for us. <sighs> <clears throat> He's unbelievable. My God, I didn't realize our thank you, thank you. Musical prodigy. Didn't mm -hmm. you used to be a composer yourself? Uh, no, I don't know if I'd say that. But you used to write your own music, right? Yeah, but I haven't done that in years. Not since he was four or five years old. And and what do you do, Richard? He's a professor. Of what? Well, no one really knows. No, I mean, what's his field? Uh, it's maritime archaeology. Ah. Maritime archaeology. That's actually pretty interesting. History. My name is Mr. Ivory. The class will be broken up in. Hey you. Yes, hello. Look, oh, it's I'm Chloe. I wrote you something. We are in the same class. What a coincidence! Please keep in mind that while we're at school, we don't know each other. Do not talk to me this ever. Love Chloe. I want each of you to write it down. Same. I hate you, bastard. Not stare off into space. Okay. Now I will go on to the next slide. Chloe, tell me, what did the quote say? Um. Right. I definitely know this. You were taking notes, weren't you, Chloe? Oh yes, of course. Mmm, fine. Just because I'm a nice person. So those who do not remember the past, repeat the past. That's right, right? Indeed it is. Though I'd prefer you to answer without the help of your boyfriend next time. If we do not keep an accurate account of the past, we are destined you broke to embarrass ourselves in possible well, But I asked you to, so... I guess I'll have to live. Live? <laughs> what? I tried to convince your father not to buy you that thing, but he insisted. I half suspect he bought it for himself. <laughs> what did he buy? A PS5? Thank you so much. I wanted. A, I always wanted one. I have no idea what I'm supposed to be looking. Oh, okay. The little guys are pretty cute, though. I will admit that. It is a game console. Oh. A new contestant has approached. Hey, bro, you guys have become friends. No, it's oh, Chloe. Sure. We sit together in history class. I don't know what I'd do Food. without old Benny. Very sweet. Thank you for playing this game. A wild bro. lobster has appeared. Did Dad just thank me for hanging out with you? That's a very interesting detail. Okay, shut up, shut up, shut up. I really want this one. Maybe I'll use... Draw. Oh, wow, I'm so good now. Wow. Basically a cartoon artist Whoa. at this point. Oh. It's called a magnet school. It's about an hour away. Wow. In a town called Burton. I know the change can be scary, but I just want you to go in and meet the dean I spoke with. So what do you think, Benjamin? Do you think you could excel in that sort of an environment? 
environment. Sorry, gets very shy. Oh, not to worry. If he's as gifted as you say he is, shyness is no problem. Why don't you two come back closer to the end of the year for an audition? We're Buck. As you can see, there are some very fast runs in there. And a lot of stuff I've not taught you properly yet. So no pressure. I just want you to try. Mm. I don't want to make my mom angry. Don't answer that, Ben. You can talk to your friend after you practice. I am a man who is married with his music. I will not be seduced by thoughts. I am the greatest musician to have ever lived. Oh my god. Is she really calling you again? What is she obsessed with you? Shut up, lady. Tonight, after my dad goes to sleep, I'm going to sneak out of my house and go sleep on the beach. If you want to get invited, draw me a picture of Mr. Isaac feeling constipated. Ah. Uh, I am a rebel, so I will do this. Ew, Isaac's so scared for Caden. Just because he's starting to make friends. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the only reason she keeps coming here is to play that game you bought for her. Okay, listen, I don't claim to understand the motives of children. They're gonna divorce. Benny has a chance here. A real chance to be really good at something. I mean, no offense at all. No. But I don't think you actually really understand what that is. Huh. I rest for no thoughts. I will create the masterpiece of the entire world. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. All I'm saying is I'm a genius. In your own time, Benjamin, we are very excited to hear. Yes, I am. The modern Bach. Ha 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 it's not a matter of him nailing it. He sounded like a professional musician. At 11 years old. <laughs> now that's your mother's favorite. You know, she doesn't consider kids to be professional musicians. Oh, whoops. You don't have to open it right now if you don't want to. What do you mean? Of course he wants to. I, I saved the relationship, too. Look. Sure. Open it whenever you want, sweetie. Thank you for interest. Given several consideration. What does it say? Give him time to read it. Why are you being silent, Ben? What's we can't? Say? Why? Don't pressure him. He'll tell us once he's ready to tell us. I mean, that's the main thing. It's just a school. It's nothing life or death. Yeah, that's true. I mean, it would have been a... Why didn't they give me the thing? We want him home from Do they not realize I am the genius? Just until this nasty thing clears. Hey, L, would you mind taking a quick walk with me down to my office? There's a small clerical no. I need you to look at before I can let I'm the genius go. of the century. Oh, yes, you can't do this to me. I'll be right back, Benny, okay? Just maybe five minutes, kiddo, okay? My eyes, no. You sure you bring your gaze? Can you please try to speak a little softer? Frick. Oh. Pretty. Oh. Whoops. 
Oh, all my old toys. Wow. I remember you. Artist. Magnifico. Artist. Magnifico. Fabuloso. Spaghetti. And Mr. Benjamin Brin has been awarded first place. Thank you, thank you. The greatest genius of my century. I know. You are not here to learn to be painters. You are here to learn to be artists. And although I was hired to teach Hiya. you... Whoops. Mm -hmm. Lucky for you, the world is always in need of more greeting card artists. No. This is... <laughs> you fiend. Uh... I do not understand art. To take a... Ta da! I'm stunned. The ironic sincerity of this piece is so sincerely ironic. <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. I know that lots of Asians gave you lots of cards. And I... Don't worry. You're not selling your soul. I'm a genius. I don't need this contract. Well, look at that. You've crumpled my contract. <laughs> uh, whatever you want, kid. Sure, you got talent. But what the... Okay, that's it. Get out of my office! <laughs> I don't want to work with you and your stupid contract. fingers anyways. But what are you going to do? Paint me to death? <laughs> <laughs> I am the greatest artist the century has ever seen. What? I bet you are happy you threw that contract in her face now. You didn't sell out, and you still got rich. <laughs> hey, Ben. Don't even pick up this call, okay? I mean it. I'm just calling to inform you that I went to the doctor today, and, well, I'm, I'm going to be a little sick. For a while, but really, I I don't want you worrying about it at all. Mm, it's just a call. Oh, Benny, I told you not to pick up. There's nothing you can do for me right now. All you can do is just keep painting, keep striving. That's my mom, right? But that's enough for me. Now you'll hear from uh, person I believe is the single thing in the world my Frank. wife is most proud of. Her magnum opus, so to speak. Uh, I think you all know who I'm talking about. Benny, you ready to come up here? <sighs> Say something. Hello, everyone. What? What's wrong? Why There's a metronome in front of me. Hey, you. As you know, I talk to big, very important people. First of all, Benjamin, you are a little tease. I have told the world that Benjamin Brain is a genius. And I am. I that Benjamin Brain is silent because Benjamin Brain is hard at work creating his greatest work yet. But you are doing nothing! The I'm painting. The world has forgotten you, Benjamin! B, just calling to tell you... I think I'm selling the house. She's everywhere here, son. I can't move. 
Uh, Bumping into her. Life is sad. You want. With your mother gone, I'm hoping to finally live without all the clutter. <laughs> uh, I'm just so glad you got to speak to her one last time. I mean, I know she told you not to pick up the phone. <laughs> but, well, I'm just so happy that you did. Yeah. She just wanted you to focus on your work. That was the only thing that mattered to her. The piano once again. You're so I just old. walked through the entire show. So, not to be forward, but what are you doing after this? Maybe we. That is very I'd forward. I really love to catch up. I, I can't believe everything that's happened to you. I want to hear all about it. What? What? Now would you look at that? <laughs> I cannot believe my luck. <laughs> you finally hit the jackpot, Flapjack. All the nobody nothings dying every day. You finally sink your hook into a. Whoa! Ho -ho. Well, there you are. Well, hello. I don't know if I like you. If I realized I would have cleaned up. Here we go. Gatekeeper! Before you stands the soul of a great man. Now, would you describe yourself as a. A happy kid or a lonely one? Huh. <laughs> Artists don't need friends. Hmm. His childhood was a lonely one. Growing up as a strange, quiet child in an isolated seaside town. And, uh, what would you say your mom was? A composer? Or an accountant. A composer. His mother was a composer who, with the need to support her family, took a job as an accountant. Mm hmm How would you describe her as a teacher? More encouraging or demanding? Kind of uh, like your champion. Definitely demanding. Or, or more like a therefore. As his piano teacher, she was over demanding, forcing him to practice day in. I that's day a bit out, too harsh. I did not mean it like that. Come on. That greatness Come that on, man. Calm down. How about that neighbor girl? What was she to you? Was she your best friend or your first love? I thought. I'm be honest here. Music became the only thing he truly cared about, even more than his best friend, Chloe. And although he gave it everything he had, he was still rejected from the conservatory his mother desperately wanted. Now, from that moment forward, what? Why did just his skip? mother gave up on him. She knew he didn't have what it took to be a truly great musician. But little did she know, she just picked the wrong medium. Right. See, when he was 12 years old, he got sick, and he had to stay inside for an entire year. Oh, a year! I didn't realize it was like a he year. He discovered a talent he'd forgotten: painting. Sure, he loved finger painting as a child. Color and shape were the first languages he learned to speak. But for the first time. 
he saw it in a more serious light. He was accepted into an exclusive Why is everyone so angry? Where he caught the eye of an esteemed professor who launched his work into the national spotlight. Now be quiet. All oh, the seagulls are so angry. What's happening? Mounting, he stalled himself into bankruptcy, which turned out to be a blessing. For it wasn't until he returned home to the house he grew up in that he began working Oh, the stories. What is happening? ultimately be considered his masterpiece. Shut up, you, you dumb girls, you lucky fellows. Stop it, stop it, stop it. All right, I get it. I hear what you're saying. What is it? I should probably tell you, those things, they're not regular gulls. They're liar birds. They're what becomes of souls who try to lie to the gatekeeper. And once they try that, they're never allowed near her city again. I get to feeling bad for not defending them right, so they just stay on with me. Living reminders of my oratory shortcomings now don't think that i haven't dealt with people like you you're ashamed of something something so terrible you're trying to blink right past it because if the gatekeeper knew she'd have to dream up fresh new hells to punish someone as worthless as you and i'm sure you're right i'm sure you're the rottenest soul that i ever fished out of that black muck and I should have thrown you back and sanitized my paw as soon as I laid eyes on you. Oh my god, stop sniffing me. But it's too late for that. We're in this together. And the gatekeeper, she'll see right through your fake lies as if they were glass. So I'm going to ask you again to start from the very beginning. And this time... I want the truth. Where is it? This. Here? What did your mother hear on that phone call? I did it, I did it. I'm getting it. Hello? Yes, of course. This is Elle, his daughter. Oh, the grandpa died. <gasps> oh. Oh, I what see. is it? She knew she hadn't yet lived up to her father's expectations. And now, she never could. Let's keep going. You really need to stay in time with the metronome, okay? You were a prodigal talent. I get it. Let's move. Eternally indebted. What did you just say? This isn't a trip down memory lane. I need. Yes, I understand about the cat. Let's keep going. Oh. What? Is the cat like dying? What is happening? What is the sound? Is it almost done yet, my eyes? Jesus. Oh my god. The death of those cats must have taught you a terrifying lesson. That simply being alive wasn't enough. So then you went to work. To Jesus make yourself Christ. sensational. Listen to him, Richard. It's horrible. Oh, close I mean, my eyes. Point? What do you mean? What's the point? The point of any of it? What if he's never going to get any better? Okay. Let's not say that. Okay? 
We know we don't mean it. I know I don't. I know. I mean, what if he heard one of us saying something like that? I'd never forgive myself. I... It's okay. He's asleep. It's okay. Oh, wow. Okay. This Try is new. With it. Well, hello, Benny. <laughs> it was your grandfather's, but I used it in college to write lyrics. Why don't you write the story of your life so far? And then what you're going to do once you get better. That's a story I want to hear. Oh. I'm writing all the things that the guy said. Music became the only thing he truly cared about. Even more than his best friend, Chloe. <laughs> best friend? Okay. Thank Benny. God I didn't say first love. It'd be Is so that awkward. Why you didn't sneak out with me? Why not just tell me? You do realize I waited for you out in the alley for like an hour, right? You are going to be in there for about thirty minutes. Thirty so try minutes. To get comfortable. Wow, I didn't realize that the the scans took that long. Knock knock. You're gonna be so annoyed with me, but I couldn't help but overhear Chloe reading aloud from what I think was your story the other night. I know, I know. I promised myself I wouldn't eavesdrop, but I would really love to read it if you'd let me. What do you say? You know of I'm course. such a big fan of anything you do. I can't. Just go in there and tell him you loved it. I'm sorry, I just can't. I just not right now. Okay. Don't worry. Just go to bed. I'll talk to you. Why does she not Baby, like it? Just want you to know that mom loved your story. She's just, you know, I think it was just very emotional for her to read. But I, I thought it was great. Hmm. I mean, look at this. His childhood was a lonely one, growing up a strange and quiet child in an isolated seaside town. And I mean, certainly bummed you feel that way. But what I want to know is, where'd you learn to write so well? All those cool words. It reads like Dickens. <laughs> really just very That is cool such a nice guy. You should be very proud. Oh my god, right? wait. Oh my god. This is... This is getting to me. Benjamin Brin was a loser. He was the worst friend. Who have ever lived. He didn't even try to fight the disease inside him. He just laid down. That's it. Ben. Benny! Benny! Ben! Oh God, can you hear me? Richard! If he's ever in pain, all he needs to do is press that red button, and the drug will administer itself. Thank you so much. You know, I know my wife would normally want to thank you herself. No, I understand. It hits mothers the hardest, this sort of thing. Thank you for understanding. It's been... Uh, it's been a rough one. Eddie. Yeah, hey man, it's Richard. Listen, I know Elle's been missing in action, but I just want you to understand things have taken a really bad turn here. Yeah, no, that's not going to be possible. To be honest, your whole tone is pissing me off right now. Yes, <sighs> I understand you have a business to run. It's a very cliche thing to say to me in a time like this. Okay. Well, 
Well, then I guess all I can say is screw you too. I said, screw you too. Yeah, man, that's all I got. Chloe. Hey, this isn't funny, you know. What, you're too scared to talk to me? Well, just so you know, I know you're faking. Because if you were really sick, like actually sick, you'd have told me already. I happen to actually know about this stuff. So the fact that you are faking just so you don't have to go to school with me is actually ridiculous. I don't know if you're embarrassed that you didn't come out. I remember when you were just four years old. Mom was going through a pretty tough no. time. Not as tough as now, but yeah, our music had been rejected, and she's having trouble adjusting to her quiet little life out here, and I feared that I was losing her. But then you played this on the piano, and just her little hands reaching up for the keys. She just couldn't believe how gifted you were. And once she heard that, well, it was like you brought her right back to me. So, I was wondering if maybe you could do that trick again. Try closing your eyes. See if you can remember. Hmm. Wait, is that... That's my piece. How did you figure out how to play that? Rick, hello. Keep playing B. She's listening. I was so sad I blinked. It's just... Hey, I haven't seen you in a while. just so happy she's here. We've got to show this cat some real love. She's been through more than we can even imagine. Oh, her poor fur. Richard, we have to... What do you mean she hasn't been over? Like... She didn't even care to visit? No, I mean, I don't think he's told her. And you're just letting that be? I don't know her step. You know how Benny is. She lost her mother a year ago. You knew that, right? No, but what does that have to do with... Okay, do we have her dad's number? I don't know. Check the book. Okay, I'm calling now. Honey. Oh, no. I hope I meet Chloe before... an idiot you do realize this is really nothing special to me I've seen this all before I um I was thinking about what you said in the story the other day and how I reacted to it and I feel kind of bad I shouldn't have done that but Hey, what are you looking at? Don't look up there. Look at me. I'm talking to you. I want to give you something, but I think this I don't want to be in the room when you see here. what it is. So maybe if you close your eyes, I can give it to you and I'm going to leave. Close your eyes now, okay?
Dear weird neighborhood kid, you are my best friend. Love, Chloe. What is that? It's something new I'm working on. So you're writing again? Ah, it's just a melody that came to me. It feels good to play it. You know, for a while now, I've wondered if I'm just not a good enough storyteller. If I just don't have grand enough words, can't tell grand enough stories. But grand words and stories, I think they may be overrated. Ugh. I know just what to tell her. Watch for her now. I've seen the gatekeeper take many forms depending on the soul I bring her. But once you see her, you'll know. Believe me. I should go get ready. Don't worry. We got this. I think. She is. Wish me luck. Gatekeeper, before you sits the soul of a child who died before he could grow old. That means she's ready to hear your story. You know, I never told you how much I loved your story really so imaginative and the person you wrote about is such an interesting and intense guy my only issue was well I didn't like him very much so I wanted to read you something I wrote for you which is about the Benny I've known for 11 years now it's called the Great Life of Benjamin Brin. <clears throat> Benjamin Brin was born into an ordinary home, to an ordinary mother and father in a small town by the sea. His mother was a composer, or at least that's what she dreamed she'd be. So when her own dreams didn't pan out, she began to dream for him. But then... And when he was just 11 years old, he got sick and was forced to stay inside for an entire year. And in that year, he began to worry that he hadn't lived enough. So he made up a story of the great life he thought he wanted to live, which only made him forget the great life he already had. How he had filled a new home with light and joy and promise. How he met a girl, his neighbor, who felt all alone in the world and made her feel okay again and how even when he was sick he still gave his parents hope how he reminded them of exactly who they were after they had almost forgotten so when he knew he was going to go he was okay because he'd already lived a great life a full life 
and he was everything he needed to be, just as he was. She accepts. Close your eyes now and keep them closed. <laughs> He's smiling like that. He must be somewhere that he likes. My friend recommended this, recommended this to me, and like <laughs> he was like playing, he was just like randomly playing it in our uh, dorm apartment, and he just started like crying like in the middle of the living room, like ugly crying. So we were all like, "What are you doing, man?" But wow, I didn't. I think I might have cried if I like stayed on that piano scene a bit longer, but. That was emotional. Like, I really, I really didn't know what else to say, like, in the middle. Like, once I started doing that, like, it was just so serious. Like, what are you, how are you supposed to really, like, just react to that other than just, like, kind of take it in, you know? Like, closing your eyes to, like, just, like, listen to them. Like, I don't, that was a really good mechanic. I think I... I think I personally like think the most when I close my eyes, so it was just like really good. The music was great, like the characters are great, the writing's great, the mechanics great. What a good good game, really.